Hey everybody, Obi Hughes here. Welcome to the behind the scenes of Ellington Hawk Undercover musical EP. We took to the studio in late 2018. King C Studio in Rancho Cucamonga. There's a the studio there, Charles at the wheel. Joe Perez came in working drums as usual. Jeff Corolla was on the guitar for this EP on all of the tracks. There's Joe there with his vintage Slingerland drum kit. And Charles' five string bass, so he can get those real low notes for us. There he is at the wheel, working on his magic, and yours truly, thinking about what the hell am I doing here. There's that handsome devil Jeff there. So we first recorded Sleepwalk. This is actual footage of the track that we end up using. And this was released as a single in, um, I think it was late 2019. We didn't release the full EP digitally until early 2020. That's uh, the cover of the single for Sleepwalk. We just released these digitally. We did not press CDs on these. And that's a little promo uh, I did there for the single. That's my, uh, my best Humphrey Bogart right there. Got the right hat for sure. And that there's uh, Mr. Charles Glenn with Ozone, signed by Motown Records in the 80s. Charles was on a lot of recordings on Motown back then. And that's just uh, starting to mix, working his magic with the EQing. Uh, Charles is amazing with this stuff, I and mean, he works so fast. Which if you're a musician, you know that time is money in the studio. It saves a lot of money when you have an engineer who knows what they're doing. Hey everyone, just thought I'd check in. Pretty excited right now. I just rolled up to King C Studio here in Rancho Cucamonga. Um, that's our bass man, Charles Glenn's private studio he has out here. Charles Glenn uh, worked with Little Richard for about 20 years, if you didn't already know. Also was signed to Motown Records back when he was 17 years old. Anyway, um, did some recording a few weeks back and I'm um, going to lay down some vocals and some more sax tracks tonight, so hopefully it goes well. Uh, maybe some guitar to Jeff Corolla's come in as well to lay down some uh, some solo guitar stuff Anyway, looking forward to it. I'll keep you posted. Maybe we'll throw something at you a little bit later tonight. See how it goes Catch you next time With Ellington Hawk we generally uh, track every instrument on top of the bass and drums So we record the bass and drums live together and then listen to the recording as we record the rest of the instruments That way we can take our time with them. Ellington Hawk is kind of a special group we don't get together for rehearsals really, and so uh, time is of the essence, so we just do it this way, that we don't have a, a lot of time rehearsing the songs. We can kind of build them in the studio and uh, take our time with our solos and, and overdubs. The band's pretty much a bunch of all-stars, all have uh, you know well over 30 years experience playing music. So it looks like this is me about to record some vocals you see a little bit of nervousness with my hands there. Um, I took my troubles down to Madame Rue. You I definitely don't consider myself a singer, more of a, a vocalist, if anything, but uh, sax player first, obviously. But uh, whether I'm recording saxophone or vocals or anything, I'm always clearing my throat right before the recording starts. I don't know if that's a nervous habit, or I just want to make sure I got nothing uh, raspy in there when I don't want it there. I think there's also something uh, 
you know, just subconscious about the permanence of something being recorded. There's Jeff there laying down some smooth guitar, looking completely comfortable in the studio. This one, uh, Love Potion number nine, originally done by the Clovers in 1959. And here's some trivia for you. Every song on this EP was originally written in 1959. This was not intentional. When I chose these songs, I had no idea. Yes. Pretty interesting uh, how that worked out. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, man, I forgot all about this. This has been a couple years now. Uh, so I'm on my way to the studio and um, was supposed to go pick up some maracas but uh i forgot them and uh music store didn't have any so i may do uh looks like a couple of perrier bottles with macaroni inside to get that uh maraca sound it worked out pretty good with some uh, eqing and double them up and you'd never know the difference i should have had joe perez come down to do this yeah. he's the uh, the percussion man and uh, I hear he plays a mean macaroni maraca. Do it again? Okay. Yeah. Do you think it needs it on uh, on the chorus also? Well, this is just Charles and I uh, working it out, seeing if it needs anything else, or getting his take on uh, on the way it's coming through, what the song may or may not need production wise um, once again um, always good to get a second opinion when you're in a studio okay and it's really nice when you have a former Motown man and a experienced musician like Charles in the studio with you working the engineer booth <laughs> So it looks like uh, moving on here to Fats Domino's song, So Long. That's right, rock and roll. Beware of the Maloika. The Maloika is uh, Italian for the evil eye. And uh, the pinky and the pointer finger up in Italian is to ward off evil eye. The evil spirits are the evil people trying to get at you. Let's take it again. I missed the uh, the step down. On th anyway, let's take it one more time, if you would. <clears throat> ah, there it is. <laughs> Okay, so this is what we mean by tracking. I am listening to uh, pre-recordings of the band in the headphones or the cans, and I'm recording myself live along with that. So that's the term, tracking. enough to have Abby Maharaj, Abby Girl from Abby Girl and the Real Deal come down and record some backups on this song. Man, she really brought it together. She's looking like a little schoolgirl right there. That ponytail. It's okay, Abby. I distracted you with the camera right there, I think. Big finish, wonderful voice, and uh, really made the song. I mean, incredible voice. So just uh, listening to the playback here, it looks like we've got a lot of the mix done, if not all of it at this point. And I'm uh, just spinning around here in the studio. Yep, long deep breath. This looks like it's uh, near the end of a long recording session. Jackets off, sweating a little bit. Sometimes you just gotta you gotta take a long breath, relax a little bit before the next take. 
Okay, it looks like moving on to Peter Gunn, the theme song from Peter Gunn, originally done by Henry Mancini in 1959. I'm listening to the playback here. Uh, I probably had just recorded the sax part on that one. And I want to make sure I like what I heard. You know, again, about Charles Glenn. Uh, working with Charles in the studio is amazing. He, he keeps you relaxed. He's got a, a great ear. He knows if you're doing wrong or doing right. A lot of times he just lets you uh, make that decision. But uh, if you ask him for his, uh, his opinion of something, he's definitely going to let you know, uh, yeah, you're on point or you're not on point. But uh, he's got a relaxed uh, demeanor about him. It really helps keep him moving forward in the studio. And there is the star of the Peter Gunn video we did and my 1953 Buick Special. Everything is all original on this ride. Nothing's been changed. I've actually had quite a few offers on this car recently. I uh, just can't seem to let it go. Plus, uh, what I'd want for the car, these people probably wouldn't want to pay since it's all original. All right, there's a little take from the music video. That's the actual sound you're hearing from the cars going by. We filmed this on location in Upland, and the car was stationary, obviously, there. Um, kind of going for that old mid-century 1950s movie magic. There's a back alley scene there. With my lady, Mrs. Amy Mullen Hughes, and Greg O'Donnell, who did all the videography and editing for... The Peter Gunn video. We did all the filming in a couple of days, I think probably maybe about 12 hours for the filming and then um, several, several days in the, the studio editing, probably a total of, um, I don't know, 750,000 hours on the editing. From the day we started filming until the, uh, the day that we wrapped editing, it was probably about a year, uh, partially due to the uh, insane 2020 year that we all just lived through. And there's a shot from the uh, editing room. And that's about it, folks. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the behind the scenes of the EP Ellington Hawk Undercover. Please be sure to check out ellingtonhawk.com and um, follow the band on your favorite digital platform, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, whatever. It really does help. Um, it changes the algorithms uh, with those digital platforms, and we uh, we actually do get paid very very little, but uh, they start adding up. We can get a, you know, fifty thousand if you listen to us daily. It might start paying the electric bill for us. So anyway, we appreciate your support, and we'll catch you at a live show hopefully here real soon. See you then.